JJ, what up? 2644, nigga. Ayy, I heard y'all niggas hang. To get fucked, why the fuck you cake? You see this ice, I can't stop fucking shaking. And I be moving, you so motherfucking complacent. This a marathon, why the fuck you niggas race? Now I done heard a lot of niggas talk down about me, but I never heard a nigga talk down around me. Same nigga stole trying to help me find my cheese. Dead yeah, nigga. Uh huh, uh huh. Black uh -huh. magic. You know what it Stay is. Stay out of come up. You know what it All is. day, every day. All to your motherfucking fall, nigga. Live by, live by, live by. The really get die by, die by, die by. Southwest, Southwest, Southwest. Number streets, nigga. Yeah. Hey, we be running through them bands. We done it all. You be fucking up them scams. We done it all. We still moving with them brands. We done it all. We still fucking with them hands. We done it all. We ain't trusting no bitch. We done it all. We still running with the snitches. We done it all. We be falling like pip. And you niggas still miss it. I heard you talking down, I know your whereabouts I'ma drop a couple dollars, get it aired out Why you spreading all them lies, we can air it out This one of them crimes you won't hear about You can catch me on the move, but I'm low-key Thinking back, being booed, nigga OT Sitting back, getting schooled by the OGs I can't play the fool, nigga, not me They heard I came up and they hate it, bro You the hottest in the city, that's the beta, bro What up, though? What up, though? This your man in the fuse, and I'm all the way live with my man Mozzie Top, and we chopping it up about the road to Top Tober. What's up with it, homie? What's up with you? Good, man. What's good with you? How you been, man? How Vegas been treating you? I've been good, man. You know, Vegas is always gonna be Vegas. <laughs> it's the life. <laughs> on me, on me, on me, man. I see, I see you, man. You've been working, man. I've been seeing you putting your feet on the pavement out here, getting to it, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, gotta do that. So how do you feel like transitioning from Detroit to Vegas with your music, man? How's Vegas uh, been taken to it? Oh uh, man, they 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 really like accept it and they love it because it's like a mixture of people out here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's so diverse. You get people from everywhere. You got Chicago, St. Louis, the Bay, L.A. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's a mixture of people out here, so you get all different type of vibes and shit. But for the most part, they fuck with it. If, you know, they feel like. It's real. Yeah, you know for saying? sure, for sure. So, you know, um, just to give the viewers a little insight and a little background on you, where did you grow up at? Shit, uh, I grew up on motherfucking Seven Mile and uh, Southfield, man. <laughs> I said I was over there to about about six. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's in Detroit, Michigan, in the yeah. D. Yeah, yeah. Detroit, Michigan, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Uh. You know what I'm saying? My mom's had that hood on, hood on lock over there for a minute. You feel me? She was in the streets and shit. And then I said, well, once we moved from over there, she got, I put my feet down in the southwest Detroit. And start doing your thing. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So who would you say, like, kind of influenced you while you was growing up, man? You know what I'm saying? Since you were so exposed to so many different things. Man, you know, I, I really looked up to my mama, though, because she was a female in the streets. She was getting to it like a nigga. Yeah. I mean, I shit. <laughs> I fell in love with money. I say it in my song. I fell in love with love with the money at six years old. You feel me? I was counting a hundred thousand dollars at every night at nighttime out shoe box, bro. That's crazy. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. And shit, it's been on ever since. You know what I'm saying? She she was like a real big inspiration for me, but she really like opened the door to this music shit for me because she kind of hit me to all these different types of music and shit. Yeah, so kind of like the money and music went kind of like hand in hand for you. Basically. So at what age would you say you kind of like fell in love with music then? Man, since I started beating on pots and pans about two years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've been doing music since you was a kid, kid. Yeah, man. You know, I, I, I went to the little... Uh, the little class and shit they had in elementary, you know, you could beat on bongos and yeah. all that type of shit. <laughs> I did all that shit, man. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I had my little keyboard running around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go to the karaoke machine, all type of shit. All type. <laughs> Getting to it, though. Yeah, man. For real, for real. So, 
like growing up in the crib, you was able to listen to all types of music. Then your mom didn't really put a filter on your music. She let you be you. Of course. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Now, who are some of the artists that you uh, listen to uh, from the city? Man, I listen to Payroll, Peasy, Fezzo. Shit, uh, Free My Nigga Hard Work Jig, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, shit, you know, Big Hurt, Big Hurt. Young Hurt. Yes. Man, see, you know what I'm saying? Both of them boys, go. DZ, Solid Baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, well, I'm, and none of those names you just named, like, how many people would you feature with, though? Like, who could you see yourself getting on the record with? I get on, I, shit, I, I want to work with, uh, shit, Payroll, Peasy, Sada. Uh, shit, then they're all of them, man. I done worked with Hurt before. Oh, okay. You know, I done worked with Hurt before. I done worked with Dusty before. I got something in the, in the works with Most Wanted. Okay. I got, uh, you know, I got, I got, a, I got a mixture of things, man, in the pot. Just, 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 just boiling like right gumbo, now. Man. Yeah, whipping up that gumbo right now. I could dig it, man. I see your chain say 2644, man. Yeah. You care to elaborate on that and let us know what that means? Oh, yeah. 2644 is definitely... It's a family. It's more than a gang. It's a family. You feel me? Yeah. It's uh 2644 means BMGG in the New World version of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which is Black Magic the Willie Gang. That's where the shit started from, originated the foundation. You know what I'm saying? It came from Black Magic Records. So once we started with that and we started branching out, we said, damn, we got to give these people something that they can recognize us by. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fact. We always on the streets. We always moving around. We always doing some shit. We straight out the jungle. We come from lions and tigers. You feel me? Facts. So shit, nothing else to be but a motherfucking gorilla. Right. That's the only way you can survive in the city. No doubt. You no know doubt. what I'm saying? No doubt. Now, um, who, how many members is uh, affiliated with this group? Like, who? How many people are in this group actually? Uh, 2644 only consists of Streets Luciano, myself, and uh, BM Jizzle. That's what I'm saying. But we got other members that's that's been there from like the beginning and shit. Yeah. That's part of the Gorilla Gang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or whatever. When I got a cousin, man, young Unc, you know, he crazy. He really, really inspired me to start rapping because I was just making beats and shit. Huh. You know what I'm saying? You sound like Rock Kim back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, damn, man, how the hell you put all the words together like that? I got a whole lot of shit to say, too. That's what's you up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shit, it just panned out like that to be able to just actually start doing this shit as a career and be able to reach back and get family that, that I came up with. You know what yeah, what I'm saying? no doubt. Now, um, I know we celebrating the road to Toptober. You want to elaborate on what does Toptober mean? October, man. October is my motherfucking birthday month. That's the, that's the month I was birthed in. Yeah, me? yeah. So, I mean, for me, it just felt like when this time, when this time of the year come around, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's my time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've been blessed every year when it's around this time. Like I don't even gamble like that. You feel me? Yeah. I gamble one one time out of the year, and that's on my birthday, uh -huh. and I hit every motherfucking time. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's dope. That's I mean, dope. Nigga put and put shit. I put what? They like seventy five dollars on the motherfucking roulette table. Nigga walked away from that bitch and hit. That's crazy. Turned around and went back out my cheese. On me. Yeah, on you me. Know what I'm put it in the motherfucking slot machine. Hit every time. It never fails. You feel me? So I feel like you know what I'm saying. It's my time. So I'm like shit. Well, I just celebrate one one day out of the month, and I can take over the whole motherfucking month. This is October, October, nigga. I can dig you know it. I definitely can dig it's it, my man. time. So I'm going to drop this motherfucking EP every year. It's going to be a series, you feel me? Yeah. It's like the Carter. Yeah. So this is basically episode one. Thanks, October. This is the intro. This is the introduction to us basically, you know, going to your life and, you know what I'm saying, traveling and getting to see the lifestyle of Mozzie Town, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I appreciate you letting me in and be the guy behind the lens and the guy doing the conducting, you know, which I really appreciate you for that, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, ain't nothing but love, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, um, <clears throat> do you know when the EP will be coming out? October the 15th. October the 15th. And then I got I got another EP with my brother, Streets Luciano, dropping this month on the 25th on his beat day because he'll leave it too. It's leave the season, man. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so where can the people Street find you at, man? Oh, you can find me at uh, on Instagram at Mozzie. 
top underscore 2644. And then uh, on Facebook, you can just type in Mozzie Top and Twitter, Mozzie Top. Yo, 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 so what's up, Mozzie? What's good with you? What's up with you? Shit, man, just want to chop it up with you a little bit more about Toptober, man. You feel me? So, uh, previously we were talking about, you know, how your mom was influenced in the game and how it was an influence on you growing up. Now, what were some of the, like, you know, some of the amenities that you reserved, <laughs> that you received man, when, you know what I'm saying, growing up? Me, she told me, how to, you know what I'm saying, how to get to it. Yeah. Get away. You feel me? Facts. But, I mean, you know, she, she really taught me and instilled in me the code, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to do something, whether it's right or wrong, do it by your motherfucking self. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> do it well, nigga. Right, <laughs> right, right. But, I mean, you know, get in and get out. It's always a bigger picture. You can't do that shit forever. You know Facts, man? man. Especially growing up in Detroit, man. I know it's kind of crazy. And you, you know what I'm saying? Pulling up in limos to school. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I know I was, niggas was looking at you kind of crazy. Like, they got a crazy. bag on them. That shit was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, going to school and shit. Getting dropped off in limos. Going motherfucking summer set and shit. By they clothes. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just different cribs. And, Man, everybody thought I was a fucking celebrity. It's kind of like it's kind of like the fast life. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was. I mean, I kind of like looked at that shit like as motivation growing up. Like, damn, I want that shit again. You feel me? Yeah. I want to be able to do it myself. I want to be able to take care of my mama. Now she could took care of me. Facts. Man. Facts. Now. Type of time I was. Doing. Now I know that you were influenced. That you have an influence on the rap game and the rap culture in Detroit. Yeah. And you're doing the same thing in Las Vegas as well. Now, you know what I'm saying? What do you feel about the Detroit rap scene blowing up and, you know, everybody taking off the way they're taking off right now and you being a part of Vegas culture right now? Oh, man, I love it. You know what I'm saying? This shit long overdue. You know what I'm saying? We got legends in the city. You know what I'm saying? Facts. They just looked up the Blade. You know what I mean? Wipeout. Motherfucking Eastside Cheddar Boys. You know Facts. what I'm saying? All the niggas. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of history in the city where... We should have been blew up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the industry kept, like, pushing us away and out and shit because they like, them niggas are real street niggas. We can't gamble. <laughs> we can't gamble with them type of niggas. Right? Yeah, yeah. Facts, <laughs> they facts. They give us 100000 we going to buy some bricks. <laughs> on God, on God. They're coming back with it for sure. Hell yeah. But, I mean, I, I just like the way, you know what I'm saying, the independent scene is moving right now. Like, Viz is really doing his thing, you feel me? Yeah, Sada yeah. Sada Baby doing his motherfucking thing. Niggas is blowing up in the city, man. They are. And they, and they look good, though. They look real good. Yeah, shout out to Empire, too. Shout out to OG Suicide. You know what I'm saying? Plugging me in. You feel me? Facts. Now, let's talk about your movie, man. You got a movie coming up, man. Let's oh, talk yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was a movie. I turned that motherfucker into, like, a, a series or whatever. You know what I'm saying? To stretch that bitch out a little bit. Everybody been asking for it. I've been working on it for, like, four years. Right. You know what I'm saying? This shit funny as hell. It's called Scales. Hilarious, I'm telling you. <laughs> that bitch coming real soon. Facts. And the nigga that's behind this camera right now is part of that shit. I'm trying to tell you. That shit about to be crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm about to bring it to you. Everybody want to know that shit. Like, dog, what the fuck that bitch dropping? That bitch dropping real soon, nigga. Real soon. Facts. And I know you're a boss, man. I know you, you grind and you work real hard. You know, and I know you worked really hard to get in position. You know, how is it being a CEO, man, and dealing with you know, different people's character issues and, you know, people who want to, you know, just jump the line and just say they number one and they ain't put no work in. How does it feel to deal with all that kind of shit, bro? Man, that shit is crazy. Beyond me, my nigga, I don't understand it. Motherfuckers uh, sit up there and just basically just attach themselves to you. Mm. Like, to they're be, entitled, yeah, like they're entitled it, to it, you. Yeah, yeah, and then they make it seem like it's genuine, but they really got a motive behind it. Because either they want your plugs, the love that you get, or this shit right here. Fact. This shit right here is making Fact. your own people turn on you. Facts. Money. All day long. Money. And what's crazy about that is, you know, I'm, I run my own business as well. I have a label as well. You know what I'm saying? And I deal with that shit too, man. And I be trying to figure out why is it that God keeps sending these people my way. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I got a light. I know you got a light. 
is people attract to you, so they're drawn to you and what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But why is it that we're attracting talent, but we're attracting bad seeds, though? You feel me? I feel like, you know what I'm saying, when God do that, they send you a lesson. Mm. So that way, when you see it, you can spot it the next time. You feel me? Yeah. And you know how to handle it. Because, I mean, first time experience on that shit, you're going to be a victim to your own loyalty and your own realness with that person. Right. Because you think you're getting it back genuine, but the shit is not genuine. You feel me? Yeah. That shit is like, it's motive behind it. It's made up. It's fabricated. So niggas attach themselves to people for different reasons, bro. Like, I don't understand, like, how you can call yourself real and look in the motherfucking mirror and you that type of nigga. Right. I don't, I don't see how you, like, move through life like that. Because you're really not real. No, Man. it's a role. You got a mask on. That shit ain't lasting yeah. so long, though. Yeah. So and when you, when, so you, when, you, when you see through them, is it weird for you when you got to break it off with them or do you just, like, go cold turkey on the nigga? I mean, in the beginning, with like when I first started dealing with that type of shit, like it was hard because I'm like, I was like I said, a victim to my own loyalty and realness that's connected to that person, even if it was bad. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you kind of be like, damn, man, that's fucked up. Why so and so had to be like that? You know what I'm saying? Because you're saying so much potential in that person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Outside of the bad shit, I always try to find something good in that person. Like, I said I was a victim to my own loyalty. Right. Like, and you like can't blame yourself. One thing, for that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 yeah, I mean, it's, it's a gift and a curse when it comes to that shit. You feel me? Yeah. But I mean, like, a person could be so fucked up, and you find that one thing in that person to everybody else, be like, what about this though? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. You just when you when you a thoroughbred ass nigga, you want everybody to win. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody, everybody that's there can't go with you mm -hmm. on your motherfucking vision and your your path to where the fuck you trying to go. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's a lot of that, man. It's a lot of that. <clears throat> you know, I think about it all the time. Like, you know, damn, why does somebody think that they hustle is your hustle? Or well, they become entitled, or you feel like you obligated to, my to, hustle. to to hustle while they sit there and watch you hustle. Right. To, they're wait, they're waiting to, to flourish, to flourish, yeah, they dream. To reap the benefits from what you got going on and the time and patience and money and all that shit you done put into what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. They just sitting there watching you do it and egging you on to gas you up to keep doing it. So when the shit do blow up, they're to reap the benefits from the situation. Well, let me ask you this, like, roughly. I'm going to say roughly because we never know the real amount. Yeah. How much would you say you've invested in the last two years and or three years in other artists besides yourself? I mean, just the whole plan in itself. Damn. Damn, man. It's like, what's the money? See what I'm saying? That's a lot of money, bro. That's yeah. a lot of money. That's a lot of fucking money to invest in other other people's dreams. Yeah, I mean, just to be able to have a foundation to be able to do what the fuck we trying to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand, like, niggas' whole motivation behind being a fucking clown. Describe your relationship with Mozzie Tom. Oh, that's a big brother. Sure. Yeah, that's a big brother. You know what I'm saying? He, he done been with me in some of them dark ass days, man. I done had some dark days and he done been over my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Funny. Yeah. And like, so y'all have more like a close knit relationship like family than you would say? Yeah, blood could make us no closer. Okay, yeah. so yeah. back in Detroit. Y'all was running together, so it didn't just start in Vegas. Y'all was doing this in the D as well. Oh yeah, this is this this was this, this, this over we over a decade in. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. So everything that's given is just due. Yeah. At oh, this basically. point, at this point, just because of the work you to put in and the grind you to put in. Yeah. So um, if you were to compare yourself to any kind of artist man out here right now, who would you say that you sound like a little bit? Me, I honestly don't think I sound like anybody. You know, it's yeah. it's a lot of, you know, rapidy rap niggas, niggas who push the pen. You know what I'm saying? I'm more so a uh, intricate rapper. I care about what I'm saying. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just finna go in there, 
freestyle some shit a million and one nigga said. I'm gonna sit there, I'm gonna think it out, nigga, I'm gonna get it down packed, and I'm gonna want to take Jake it, like I've been doing. Facts, facts. Now, being in Las Vegas, man, seeing this market, man, how you feel about Vegas and being out here? Vegas, I mean, for me, it's a breath of fresh air, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... Niggas came from scenery. the bottom, nigga. <laughs> new scenery, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. It, 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 like I said, it's a breath of fresh air for me. For sure. So what's next for you, man? What you got going next? I don't know, man. I mean, I, I know, but you know, it's, it's really you know when, when this man get the time, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna jump in that in that thing and one mm -hmm. tape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to it. For you sure, for I mean? sure. I, like niggas who know me know what I do in that, in right, that this type of situation. This nigga being modest as hell. That nigga in that bag. He, about to, yeah, he got some shit on his way. It's a whole <laughs> bag full of motherfucking gas, yeah, nigga. All the gas, crazy, no brakes. I'm know? trying to tell you. I ain't trying to talk too crazy. You feel me? But yeah, I'm going to handle the scandal, though. For real. DMG, man. Yeah, nigga. So in the next five years, man, where do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Location wise, I don't know because we, we, we live in a big ass world. So right. I can't really speak on that. But, you know, financially, spiritually, mentally, physically, you know what I'm saying? At 100%. 100%. No doubt, no 100%. doubt, man. You got any shout outs, man? You got some people you want to shout out? Oh, yeah, I'm going to shout out to uh, my chitlins, you feel me? My youngest, you know what I'm saying? Shout the wifey out, what's going on? Shout big brother out, you know, he always in the building, been there. For a long, very long time. The niggas who know, if you know, you know. If you know, you, you know. know. If you know, you know. Bro, Brody been there for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You ain't see this nigga without seeing me. You ain't see me without seeing this nigga. You know what I'm talking about? And then right over his shoulder. If I ain't over his shoulder, he over mine. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That's real, man. So before I let you up out of here, man, you got some social media contacts you want to share with us? Oh, yeah. Uh, Instagram, Big Gene, B I G underscore Gene. <laughs> Swift on the tour. Doing the game. Like magic. Uh huh. Montana. Montana. Ha. Ha. I be getting, getting, getting to the money. I be getting, I be getting, getting, getting to the money. I be getting, I be getting, getting, getting to the money. I be getting, I be getting, getting to the money. Yeah, you win the bill. Like the 